do 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 Time to clean my glasses before the Ollie show. Good afternoon. We are live from Sheffield City doing the podcast for the umpteenth week now. Somebody's beeping behind me, making lots of noise. It's been a really, really good week in my life. It, life's getting really chaotic. Like I just, it's so busy in the shop lately that I, it's hard to tolerate and cope with everything what's going on. But I'm just going to try and do 10 minutes every week talking like this. There's some new eye tracking feature on iPhones, which will act a bit like, it's like an accessibility feature for, I think mainly for disabled people so that they can control their iPhone without using their hands. So that will be really interesting to see how that can be used both as accessibility, because let's be real, Apple has been like so good. There's a blind guy that I know, and he actually repairs technology genuinely. And he uses an iPhone like you wouldn't believe, like like you and me use it. It's just insane. Like he's got no vision, but he can use an iPhone in the way that we use it. Just like, blows my mind. I, I Yeah, same with hearing aids and that kind of thing. Really, really good. So yeah, the uh, accessibility feature, that's gonna be that's gonna be really interesting to see what happens with, like not just as an accessibility feature, how it's developed into future apps would be really cool. And I envisage, I was talking about this the other day, like the way that we look at um, phones from the 90s or the early noughties, for example, where they were really big bulky things like the big bricks and that kind of thing. And then they got smaller and smaller over time. And I would like thinking about, you know, like the, the wearables. So like the Meta um, Quest, is it Meta Quest? And the, it is a Quest, isn't it? The, yeah, the glasses and the Apple Vision Pro. Like they're big bulky things that you put on, on on your eyes. I can see like a genuine future where we're using stuff like this. It's gonna, it, it, the, the, the tech, I always think about these big tech stuff as like industry killers. And I can see wearable tech being the killer of the optician industry, which is, which is nuts. Yeah, people are gonna make glasses, but they're not gonna make lenses like this because we're gonna have a lens, it's gonna be a camera lens that shoots out of your glasses and that's going to be, instead of having the cam the lenses of the glasses like I've got here, they're going to be screens in front of my face rather than glasses and that's going to, yeah, like the Vision Pro is, but these are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller until they are personalized, like these glasses, these are pretty funky, like tortoiseshell design glasses, but you could have black, you could have nice big square frames like people like, and or them like clear ones, what people like at the minute, what, whatever fashion, fashion glasses that are literally technology. I, I just love seeing how things move forward. Obviously the eye movement feature, it's, it's just everything's advancing so fast. Mix that with AI, like where, where are we going to be in five, 10 years? It's, it blows my mind. Anyway, I could probably just do a whole other show talking about like tech concepts that Put it in ideas book, lads. Tech concepts. We're going to do another show. <laughs> I ain't got time for this one. So, yeah, anyway, I've not even read into it. I just start thinking about it. I'm like, wow. Chat GPT 4.0, not 4.0, 4.0. Like, I've been using that as an assistant this week. I saw a video of somebody, like, using it to diagnose phones. This, use this. Have a look at Chat GPT 4.0. I've got it set up here, right? You can set... I've got it on the action button on my 15 Pro, so it, it quickly comes up and I've been using it as like a personal assistant. Let's listen to this. If it connects, it's a little bit slow because of obviously demand. Um, help me diagnose this iPhone 8 with a backlight issue. The problem is I've already checked a replacement screen on it. It got a little bit of water damage. Where should I be looking? Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Obviously, you're not a fucking you issue. Said. I've got an iPhone 8 that's got a little bit of water damage. It's showing a picture, but there's no backlight. Where should I be looking on the motherboard to fix that? Obviously, it's not going to work now. Right, when it connects, it's genuinely really, really good. And it will go to the point of like telling you which chips to be looking at, which filters to be looking at. Not just the generic answers that we got from G GPT 3.5 or GPT 4.0. Uh, sorry, just GPT 4. These are like really in-depth. And it's like having a mentor in your ear. Not only that, like you can use it because you can talk to it. Like I was just, somebody called up 
and they wanted an iPad fixing, and it was like, let's say they said A A one three seven one, and I was like, hey, what? Which iPad model is A one three seven one? It's faster than Google. Like I can just ask it, and it tells me. Like I don't have to type. Have a look at it. It's it's really useful. Not only that, like you can bounce ideas off it. You can use it to create a spreadsheet. I don't know if you've seen any of the new videos where I'm talking, like just doing silly giveaways and stuff. So the next thing that you're going to be seeing me doing, I've got I've I've got a, a bag full of balls. So it's called the bonus ball bag, obviously. And we've got ChatGPT telling me what kind of silly offers we could do, and it comes up with like genuine stuff like some of them are 25 percent off and then just silly things silly silly things so yeah really interesting another thing that i've been really busy with this week is buying old devices i put i don't know if you can see it on the video but i've got a little poster just here and it's literally like a wanted poster like an old cowboy wanted poster and it says i want your old tech put it in the window and we get three or four people in a day that are bringing me shit and then one person a day was bringing me something decent i've bought i've bought piles of old phones like way faster than i can get them on facebook marketplace or whatever a lot of it is sometimes crap like old samsung's and stuff but once you learn to say no then it's it's great or like even if you don't want something i'll just offer a fiver if it's if it's something what's i bought an s9 for a fiver i didn't really want it but i ended up buying it for a fiver and it were good it just it just needed resetting and that's it but i fop unlocked it on sam F fw for free and it was it's perfect like and i'll just sell that on ebay i'll not even put it in the window it's a bit old put it in the window uh sorry put it on ebay and make a few quid on it and it's just it's great so if you've got a shop stick a poster in or make it look good if you want the I'll, I'll literally give you the wanted poster like i'll put it a pdf below whatever i think we can do that can't we put a link to a pdf where you can download it or something i'll host it on the website that will well that's what we'll do i'll put it on the website so you can download the pdf file or a, a big jpeg ping file or something so yeah that's that um would 100 percent recommend my window's empty by the way because i've been selling that many as well um we can't buy them fast enough for the demand and the other thing that we've been doing because we we don't have massive amounts in stock and we're just trying to build up a good stock list we've got a spreadsheet that we're just like collecting data uh, customers info on when they when they come in and they say i want an iphone 12 i'm like look i've not got an iphone 12 in stock but give me a day or two i'll have one call them up and like i know that i can look for an iphone 12 on facebook marketplace i know how much i'm going to pay for it because i know if i call this customer chances are i've got it sold that same day so that's why we just can't keep it in stock because there's so many people who want them it's nuts i can't keep up like i was saying at the beginning moving on friend of the show sent us a gift the other week i don't know if it was on the previous episode fly swatter <laughs> i think two weeks ago that we had an infestation of flies literally they went after two days but mr cooper very very kindly sent me a fly swatter we've not had much use for it because all the flies have disappeared but we did give nathan a, a few beats with it which obviously it deserved talking about nathan he is going to be away he's probably finished by the time this goes on i don't know no this will go on on sunday so this is live whenever you're watching this this is on and like the wednesday after this goes live he'll be going away and like i'm running the place alone so you'll have to just bear with me um it's going to be a busy busy couple of weeks um i'm probably going to change the opening hours as well a little bit because it'll just uh It'll be too much for me to do 60. I think I think we're open about 55 hours in a week. So I, I can't work that many hours whilst doing everything else and juggling, being a parent, going to the gym and everything. And I, I need my sanity, so I'll not be able to do that. Just moving on to the questions really quick. We've been we've had a, like, a couple of videos that have done really well on YouTube this last week. And it's sort of buried all the comments from the videos. So I, I am sorry if you've left a, vid a comment and I've not replied to it either on, on, on the comment or on this video. Alex has sibbed through and got a couple of questions. So let me have a look. Land Visual said, where are you from? England, question mark. Fish and chips for life is an incredible offer. You know, if you're English and you like fish and chips, fish and chips for life is a very, very good offer. Especially when I asked for just one portion of fish and chips. Somebody said, what's dandelion and burger? Dandelion and burdock is a, a really nice drink. Um, it's a bit like, 
It's the same colour as Coke or cola, but it's just a, a different flavour, a bit more floral in flavour would be the best way to say it. Yeah, a floral sort of flavour, but it's nice. It's sweet, fizzy. Dandelion and Burdock is the nicest drink from the chip shop. It just goes really well. I don't think it's very popular around the country. I, I don't know. There's a song about Arctic Monkey song about it in there, obviously, from Sheffield as well. Uh, John Carr on the previous video just wouldn't be the same without a question from Geordie John. Of course it wouldn't. Couple of series ago, you talked about how everything started, but did you have any official training for repairs or all self-taught? Because your previous jobs seem to have nothing to do with mobile repairs. You're absolutely right. Um, no, no previous experience. I just decided one day that I was going to fix phones and broke loads of phones learning. And yeah, it would do or die as well because I literally quit my job and just said I'm going to do it. it would, like looking back, it was the most ridiculous thing that I've ever done. I was on, I, like, I was on a decent screw where I was working before. Like, I had a job which I could have relied on for life. It paid really well. I had a good life, and I just decided to fucking jack it. When I think about it, I must have been absolutely nuts. I had a bit of savings in bank which I sort of floated on for about a year because I just kept breaking it. <laughs> Breaking everything, but yeah, we've, we've got through that, we've moved forwards, and now here we are. Um, and we might get to a point somewhere in the future where we might make some money. It could it could be close, it could be imminent. If you keep watching the YouTube videos, we might, we might make a profit this year. So everybody, thanks for watching everything. I love you all. Have a great day. See you next week. Thank you, Luke, for the uh, fly swatter.